Hey guys, welcome back to Food and Travel with Festive Forever. Today we have a special brunch menu because we are at a European cafe and wine bar called Loki and Toot in Khar. The best part about this cafe is that their menu also comprises of healthy and vegan dishes. So people who are looking for healthy eating restaurant, here you go. Hi guys, I'm finally inside and you have already seen that how beautiful and gorgeous this place is. All pastel colors, swings. I think for girls, this place is the best. I would love to hang out with my girlfriends. You know what? Another best part about this restaurant is that you can actually play any song. Basically, you just have to scan this code and whichever song you like, you can just play that song without asking him to play it. Isn't it something different and good? All right, we have talked a lot about this restaurant. Now, let's just go ahead and fill my stomach because I'm really hungry. It's already 2 o'clock. I was a bit late today, but then my stomach is literally empty. Let's start this vlog with the starter called pressed chicken wings. The best part about this dish is the presentation. Look at the presentation. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? Okay, one more thing. It's baked. So it's, it's a guilt-free dish. So these chicken wings are in the form of cubes and you get this with red reduction sauce. Actually, it's a wine red reduction sauce and it's a guilt-free dish. So let's go ahead and eat it because I cannot wait anymore. Looking at this dish only makes me, you know, tempted. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna add certain amount of sauce. Actually, I'm making it all saucy. Forget about certain amount of sauce. You know, I'm not a kind of person who likes to eat chicken wings because chicken wings contain, you know, chicken, wing, chicken wings has bones in it and it gets little difficult to eat it. So these are like baked, pressed and boneless. Yum! I think the dish is superb. It's baked, so there is no oil in it. Or you can say the oil quantity is like absolutely nothing. If you have this without the sauce, you might feel that it's little dry. There is a little taste of thyme. It's also a little spicy, but not that much. And in fact, but yeah, if you have it without the sauce, you're gonna feel it dry. Exactly replica of chicken wings. It's just that it's without bones. And that's the best part about this dish. Also, they have added brandy in it, but then brandy is evaporated brandy, so brandy ka bhi taste nahi hai, wine ka bhi taste nahi hai. So in case if you're non-alcoholic, then you don't have to worry because it's all evaporated and reduced. Next, we have everyday Mediterranean salad. This is one of the recommended and sold out salad at this cafe. This includes hummus bed. If you can see that there is hummus beneath, then caramelized cherry, maple glazed tofu, some lettuce and wine dressing. This was recommended to me by the host. So let's go ahead and eat it. I really want to try like how caramelized cherry and hummus would do. So I'm just gonna mix hummus and lettuce, some tofu. Mm. This is so good. First of all, beautiful texture of hummus. Hummus is very good and because of hummus, everything else is tasting just perfect. One of the best salad that you can have. They have also sprinkled some red wine, but then again, red wine is not that strong. Gluten-free, 
guilt free you must if you're coming here you have to try this salad here we have something quite delightful spicy chicken flat bread i think it's very similar to pizza but then it's not a pizza because it's on the bread it's just that i think the sauce is giving us that feeling that it's like a pizza and of course the cheese tomato sauce some jalapeno some cheese and some leaves now let's go ahead and try it i kind of fell in love with at like first glance of this dish because it's so pretty Mm. White tasty. Very similar to pizza, but when you have the bite, that time you will realize that it's a complete flat bread with cheese, chicken, and some spicy sauce. Absolutely beautiful dish. So Loki and Food has introduced a new concept where they give you an alcoholic drink without any alcohol in it. So we have Shivam over here who is going to explain this concept to us. Okay, so here we have today with us is a zero proof menu. All right, we make alcohol without the actual alcohol in it. It is zero point zero four percent alcoholic spirit. With zero sugars added, so we there make. There is no sugar and there is no. There is like, no. But there is like one or two. Zero point zero four percent alcohol, so that we get the same flavor and the texture of alcohol without the high. You know, the kick, the kick is be not there. be there. Doesn't want to really have that kick and all. Exactly, exactly. They can enjoy uh, an experience of alcohol. Here we have a cause no pollutant. Why no in capital is because there's zero alcohol in it, zero proof. At the same time, it tastes exactly like a cosmopolitan. What you would get anywhere outside. Thank you so much, Shivam, for explaining this to us. Guys, I hope you did understand this concept, which is very beautiful concept. And this is the first place serving zero proof drinks. So this concept is new to me. I hope this concept is also new to you. So let's go ahead and drink it. So I want to know that how can a drink taste without having any alcohol in it, or just say 0.04 percent? It's better than Cosmos. Actually, it's very sour. I'm not sure if you guys would love it, but it's so sour. I'm liking it. I like this kind of sourness, but then the taste is just yum. It's more than good. I would say yum. Yum doesn't go with drinks, but then I'm feeling it yum. Mm. Extreme sourness, but just what I just what I would love. If I'm coming here, this is the drink I would order. But if you don't like tangy and sourness in your drink, then you're not gonna like it. So next thing, what I'm gonna do is, along with my cost no pollutant drink, I have this beautiful pasta called spaghetti pasta. It's a basic spaghetti pasta with cheese. I just wanted to eat spaghetti. That's why I ordered it. There is no rocket science behind it. Seems to be quite cheesy. Pure taste of spaghetti with a lot of cheese, but it's quite tangy. So what I would suggest that if you're calling for cost no pollutant, then you go for flat breads instead of uh, spaghetti because both the spaghetti and um, the drink is sour, somewhat sour and tangy. So the combination might not go well. So instead of pasta, I would suggest go with flat breads.
All right, guys. If you want to know who's the mastermind behind all the beautiful dishes that are being curated at Loki and Toot, then this is the person. Hi. 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 What's your name? Was Sheikh. Okay. Yeah. Shabash Sheikh, Sheikh is the one who is like the chef over here. Yeah. So can you explain something about like so, how did you come up with the cuisine or how okay. did you manage to you know right. when did this place open or something yeah, so like we inside on, details. Uh, so we opened on 20th of Jan and the menu is all about European cuisine with slightly Middle Eastern. Okay. So you have seen over the Bandra like most people is like a healthy place around here. Yeah, most so of in the my places are yeah. Healthy. So in my restaurant, the menu I've created it's like healthy also, and it's like everything packaged. You get vegan, you get gluten free, so which and is the someone. Most like sold out or ordered dishes. So the the most sold out dishes my no, my signature pasta it's fazulati. It's, it's a mushroom and burrata. That's my signature pasta. Followed by the artichoke tortellini again pasta, and then the prawns mahamara. So basically, the, people order more pastas. And more pasta and and small plates, and so in some small plates we have uh, meze platter. And uh, prawns, mahamara, all the dishes, okay. and I also did a, a boneless chicken wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have, like, have, I you, have you tried that? Yes, I you did. did? Like, it was <laughs> thank you, it thank was you. Super guys, do order it. Okay. So, all right, Shabas, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Since it's a European cafe, you get different different types of coffee over here. You can say that this place is quite famous for its coffee as well. All the coffees are house made, and actually. I'm not a coffee person. If you have seen my earlier vlogs, you would know that I don't like anything that contains coffee. But then my colleague, or you can say the person who's vlogging with me, wanted to drink coffee, so we order this cappuccino. Since this place has great and various types of coffee, I had to order it because I was like, you know, if you are a coffee person or you just want to meet somebody over the coffee, then why not include this coffee as well in my vlog? But it has nothing to do with the food that I had. So it's a basic coffee cappuccino. It's quite pretty, great presentation, just like how you have your normal cappuccino. So I'm just gonna smell it. The smell, or you can say, the smell of coffee is quite strong. Mm, coffee beans. If you love coffee, you're gonna love that smell. It comes from fresh coffee beans. Okay, I forgot to add sugar. I'm like smelling it, but I forgot to add sugar. So here they don't serve normal sugar. They have white sugar, honey, and coconut jaggery. I'll put this one. Okay. I'm not adding too much. It looks. I'm gonna ruin this design, but it doesn't look like there is any other option. You know, whenever I see coffee, I don't like to ruin. And okay. Okay, the coffee is quite strong. It's still. I think I still need to add some sugar. I think this is that kind of coffee which would reduce your headache. I think this one is good because the coffee that they have used is of good quality. Let's rate this place on my festive meter. I loved the place. The place is so beautiful, guys. मतलब इतनी सुंदर जगह है ना. I can't tell you. I loved both the sitting, like indoor sitting, outdoor sitting. Both of them were very, very good. In fact, I really liked the concept, like entire concept of this European cafe and wine bar. The food was good. Ambiance was great. Staff was great. In fact, I would say that um, you know the best part about this cafe or wine bar is that you get everything at very reasonable price. Drinks were somewhere around 150, then 200, 300, depending upon if you're going for cocktails or milkshakes or anything. You get vegan, healthy stuff. Loved it.
बेस्ट पार्ट इज द प्राइजिंग पार्ट आई ऑर्डर सो मेनी डिशेज एंड दे कॉस्टेड मी समवेयर अराउंड नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सो इट्स अ वेरी पॉकेट फ्रेंडली कैफे और वाइन बार यू गेट थिंग्स विच आर लाइक इफ यू गो टू सच प्लेसेज वेर दे हैव सच अ ग्रेट एम्बियंस और यू नो वेर द एम्बियंस इज सो गुड वन डिश वुड इजिली कॉस्ट यू अराउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड द प्लेस वॉज इनक्रेडिबल एम्बियंस वॉज टू गुड आई एम गोन रेट दिस प्लेस टेन ऑन टेन ऑन माई फेस्टिव मीटर माई रेटिंग्स आर बेस्ड ऑन प्राइजिंग स्टाफ फूड एम्बियंस एवरीथिंग इफ यू लाइक एड अप टूगेदर आई थिंक दिस प्लेस दस डिजर्व अ टेन ऑन टेन यूजली there is like the place has nothing to complain about everything that you get here is very tasty you enjoy this place you enjoy the ambiance you don't have to you know you don't have to worry about your pocket there are so many colleges nearby in khar so i think for those people it, this place is just too good if you visit this restaurant don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and do follow me on my instagram that is festive forever 4 So guys that's all for today I'm going to see you in my next vlog till then live life festive style bye bye So this dish looks quite similar to pasta it's not exactly similar only you can say that the sauce sorry 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 wow ye baat pare but aisa bol gaya okay complimentary dish style